So, photo courtesy of Jeremy Rhodes. Maria Earnshaw, photo courtesy oh. of her father's Instamatic. Unbelievable. Liz ought to be very proud of herself because the likeness is uncanny. <laughs> That's right. What? Miles. I don't believe in the supernatural. And that's the only way Liz could have sculpted that head. Who we'll use up all our air by the time we can dig ourselves out of here? Oh, we can't give up. Well, we... Help will be here soon. You never give up on nothing, do you? Yeah, who's gonna, who's gonna, who's gonna save us? Nobody even knows we're here. As soon as they realize we're missing, they'll come looking for us. <laughs> Oh, right. Sheriff Bloom, one of his famous searching parties, huh? He found Miss Whitney real fast, didn't he? That man, he was following. He planned all along for you to come after him in the mine. Yeah, right. He made sure we'd see him, we'd follow him here. He set up his trap real nice. That's what he did. Yeah. Well, now we're caught. For good. I'm sure Oscar told you. And he hasn't magically materialized since you came up in the elevator either. <laughs> Good. Well, don't keep me hanging. What's all the excitement? You may not believe this. What? What? Miles took me to the drive-in last night. That's exciting. Well, there's more. And I was going to tell him that I was a virgin. I was really going to tell him. He was. He'd already guessed. Well, did he understand? Oh, he was wonderful. I know why I love that man. Beth, I told you not to worry. Well, after two decades of worrying, it was hard to stop. Yeah, I guess it would be. Oh, Beth, I am so happy for you, well, Miles. Yes, well, there's more. More? Mm-hmm. You, I mean, you didn't at the drive-in. Miles didn't tell you. No, I haven't seen him today. He got an urgent phone call and had to leave before I came down. What is it? Oh, Jody. He asked me to marry him. Oh, <laughs> All right, so we don't know where Liz met Maria, but at least now we know that she must have. Well, we all suspected as much anyway. Did uh, Maria's parents mention Liz? No, we asked them about it quite specifically. They never even heard Liz's name before. Tell me about them. Well, they're Henry and Angelina Earnshaw. They live in uh, Taos, New Mexico. New Mexico? How'd she get all the way up here? Listen to this. It reads like every parent's nightmare. OK, listen. In Maria's senior year of high school, she got in with a bad crowd, experimented with drugs. There were battles at home, everybody trying to work it out, but nobody succeeding. Then the week before graduation, Maria ran away from home. That was seven years ago. That's the last time they heard of her? No, no. Uh, her parents received a letter from Maria about a year after she ran away. Now the Taos police are going to send us a copy of that. The way it sounded to me, it, it sounds like she really flipped out, you know? Anyway, that was the last that her parents heard of her. Where's the letter postmarked? Indianapolis. That's not far from here. A year later, she ends up in a riverbank just south of Marble Lake. Yeah. It'd be interesting to know what happened to Maria during that last year. <coughs> oh, you're right. All we're doing is using up what oxygen we have left. Oh, yeah, well, next time we're not going to get suckered like this. For Raven, I gave it to her before she disappeared. I remember. Found it snagged on a bush the night she disappeared. Yeah. Well, this is something else you ought to have. <coughs> this is Raven. 
resistance compact. Well, how about that, huh? I searched all over for this. I couldn't find it. You were there. I know. Look, I didn't steal it. Where, where did you get this from, Carrie? Huh? Where did you get it from? Uh, my papa gave it to me. Then he does know where she is. No, he wouldn't hurt your wife, Mr. Whitney. He must no. know where she is. Where is Mr. he, Carrie? Mr. Whitney, he wouldn't hurt Carrie, her! Carrie, for God's sake, no. tell me where she no, is! No, no! I know you said yes, of course you did. Oh, this is so great. You did say yes. Well, I, I told him I had to, to had to think about it. What? Are you crazy? No, I'm reasonably sure I'm not crazy, but I do need to think about it. What do you need to think about? The man you love asks you to marry him. I mean, you're supposed to say yes. Yes, but it's not that simple. You see... A woman does not just get married, there, there, there are a lot of things to consider. Why? Well, uh, because a decision this important needs to be thought through very carefully. You see, there are a million things that I can't think of right now, that, but they need, to be, they need to be sort of mulled over. Well, have you done any mulling so far? Yeah, I was up all night thinking about it. Well, then you've done your duty. Now go tell Miles you accept his proposal. So Westcott wants us to accept that race horse instead of the two hundred thousand dollars he owes us, huh? Dell, it doesn't matter how many times you say it, it still comes out the same. We're stuck. And and, and what was this lame excuse he gave you? Uh, his finances are tied up in some venture. That was kind of unsporting of old Bernie to make a bet with money he didn't have. <laughs> we did the same thing. No! No, we didn't. With us, it was different. We won! Now, what's the name of this horse again? Uh, Dreamwalker. Ah, uh, yeah, it's brown, got four legs, tail, eats hay. Uh, I like that name. Yeah. Dreamwalker? Now, wasn't that the nag that our Bella Kentucky beat? Yeah, it's the very same. <laughs> You know, Wes got so mad, he just wants to get the horse out of the stable. <laughs> but he's still a good horse, ain't he? Oh, yeah, sure, but my tip said he was going to have an off day and that the Bell of Kentucky was going to run real good. Uh, but listen, Dreamwalker's won some big races. Is he worth 200000 oh, I don't know, probably more. Let me tell you, some of those <laughs> races he won, big purses. Now you look very pleased about something. <laughs> well, I am, little lady. We are going to solve our problems. We are going to sell that old boy. Oh, sure. And what are we going to do in the meantime, huh? It's not exactly horse trading season. Well, we're going to rent ourselves a stable. Oh, Emerson, you are a genius. Oh, yeah. Mr. Einstein here. Yeah. Now, listen, where are we going to get the money to stable, huh? And oh. care for... Look, Dell. this is a professionally trained four-year-old thoroughbred. Dell, you got to feed him really well. I mean, good food is very important. Important. I believe me. I know. I've made a career out of it. Yeah. Where are you going to get money like that, huh? Yeah. 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 So look, there is only one person out there who can fill us in on the last few days of Maria Earnshaw's life. I think we should bring her in for questioning. You're referring to our sculptress? Yeah. I happen to share Chris's disbelief in the uh, cosmic possibilities. Now, look, Liz has had months to tell us what her connection to Jane. What makes you think she's going to start talking? Yeah, about? but the difference is now we know who she used as a model. Okay, 
Kelvin, I have applied a lot of pressure to her. She never broke once. Well, then let's both apply some pressure. Let's put her right in the middle and school. Oh, detectives? Oh, Miles, oh, nice. I'm glad you're here. Hi. Hi. What can we do for you? We have some information about Liz Carell and the Jane Doe case. I now know why Liz Carell's name sounded so familiar to me and where she might have been uh, during her mysterious six-month absence five years ago. Where? We believe she was a patient of the sanatorium where our daughter is. Lori? Yes. This is the letter that Lori Ann sent us about five years ago. As you can see, she not only mentions Liz Carell, she also mentions someone named Maria. I don't believe you, Kiri. <laughs> Look, I know how I've been coming off to you, but I really want you to find her. <laughs> Why did you have my wife's come? Papa stole it. He also, he confessed to me that he was the one that's been writing all those warnings up on your window. <laughs> Why? Why would he do such a thing? Because he hates money, and he hates people that's got it even more. That's why he wrote trick-or-treat on the window. Well, yeah, has your old man had his upstairs check lately? Anyway, he thinks that your wife's run off with some other man. Well, she didn't. Oh, she Kelly, didn't do that. baby, he's got it wrong! He just wants you to stop searching for her. Once you quit bothering folks and raking up the past, he knew you were going to find out about his prison record sooner or later. He just wants you to leave him alone. That's why he wrote the second message, go home. The old man should try to be honest and upfront with people. All right. All right, that explains about the messages. But why did he steal my wife's compact? That was for me. For you? Why would he do that for you? A present. Papa thinks I'm being seduced by all the money I see working at the lodge. He wants to prove to me that he can provide me with whatever I need. So he stole the compact because he thought it was pretty. He thought I'd like it. He gave it to me yesterday. I knew right away where he got it. So I was going to try and sneak it back in your cabin and then all of this happened. Look, I know he's wrong. I'm not being seduced. At least not by the money. It's the whole truth of it. Hey, Mr. Whitney, his batteries in the flashlight are going dead. Pretty soon, it's going to be real dark in here. I didn't think you were going to make it because of the snow. Yeah, well, uh, all the roads are clear by now. Yeah, that's good. So, I see you're all set up. Yeah, just about. Yeah, let me take them. Thanks. Oh, are those for me? Yeah, uh, I guess you should try on the blue one first. Okay. Whoever lured us in here must have gotten close enough to know that you were with us. I don't think your father would have done anything to hurt you. Yeah, we also figured out your old man couldn't have messed with our brake lines either, right? Yeah. Well, someone sure don't want you to find Ms. Whitney. Well, when we get out of here, I don't care if Roy Stanton, Sheriff Bloom, and the whole damn county try to stop me. I'm not leaving here without Raven. And I will find her. No matter what happens, money's always at the root of my problem. Well, we can probably get Westcott just to forget the whole thing. It's not as if we lost money on the deal. No, I won't do that. I'm just beginning to climb up the ladder. I'm not going to slide back down now. Well, okay then. Let's uh, have some practical ideas on how to take care of this animal before we sell him. All I know about horses is odds, past performances, and who's riding him today. I suppose you got some good horse sense. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Well? Well, we had a string of horses in the circus there. And, uh... Well? <laughs> well, uh... Okay, okay. Listen, number one. Horses live in barns and stables, right? I said that. You both said it costs too much. 
I don't understand why this critter can't just be parked out in somebody's backyard for a spell. Dad, it's very nippy out there. I noticed. My trailer's not the best insulated place on Earth. Well, what's lesson number two? Takes a lot of money to heat a barn. Uh, I imagine. Well, I know. I mean, Mr. Brunel, he had a fit when he found out he had to heat the barn to keep the lawn supplies and the pool supplies. I mean, he said, ah, oh, it's too big, it'll cost too much money. And I said, Mr. Brunel, look, you got to heat that baby or else the equipment's going to freeze and it's going to get ruined. So he's heating it. Boy, you know, heating a barn big enough for a club like this, that's got to be mighty expensive. Yeah, well, I'm just thinking about all the food it's going to take to feed a racehorse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why are you guys looking at me like this? Give me that baby, let's dig, all right? Can you hear us? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I'm digging. If you can, dig too, all right? Yeah. Identical. No wonder she knew the color of the hair and the eyes. She was working from memory. That's probably why she was so uneasy every time your name was mentioned. She obviously knew you were Laurie's father. Look, Mike, if you just give us the word, Chris and I will be on our way to Green Hill. Sorry, Calvin. I'm going to pull rank on you. I want to investigate this personally. Since Greenhaven is out of our jurisdiction, someone with a little clout with the local authorities might be needed. And someone whose daughter might be involved? Uh, well, would a member of the press be welcome to? No, but uh, my wife would be. Well, I guess I can help, too. It's time I had another talk with Beth about her sister Liz. Well, Calvin and I have already agreed that Liz probably won't talk, so I think um, going through her sister is our safest bet. I'll tell you something, I'm not looking forward to it. Okay. All right. There. All right. I think it's worth the price. Okay. Mark, that better be you. Even if it's the old man with a shotgun, let's just move and get out of here, all right? Ah! Mark, this is the second jet. Okay. Uh, it's a bit more serious than just getting lost in the ah. Somebody got those old cord beams with the axe. Yeah, I saw the guy that did it, you know. Tall with a tall and I am blonde. Get my hands on his history. Oh boy, am I glad to see you, Mark. Okay, that's the last thing I ever expect to hear from you. Come on, let's, let's get out go. of here and go to my place. We can call the sheriff from there. It's all the money we're leaving, baby. It's nice to get out and breathe some good country air, and I'll be free. I'm gonna do that one. We were free. And while I still hadn't found Raven, we at last were making progress. Two attempts to kill us proved that. I believed Kiri's story about her father and that eliminated him as a suspect. But that blonde young man, Preacher would be able to identify him. And when we found him, I knew he would lead us to Raven. For the first time in a long time, I was able to hope. Lean forward. That's good. Yeah. 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 